Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to have another player review and this time we're going to have Jason Murillo. Now this guy I went and did him right away, uh, not the loan but the actual card. Uh, first of all because he's a Serie A player so I can actually use him in the back instead of uh, Militao and also because you only need an 84 rated team which is uh, quite good I would say for this card as we are watching here as he's walkout. Um, I really don't like this animation that they're doing. It looks kind of cheesy, but then pretending to being Santa and all that. Anyways, it looks like a good card. This is an actual card that I uh, was thinking of getting on my uh, starting uh, team uh, when back then when FIFA 20 started. Um, it looks like a very good uh, card on his face stats. Even his uh, normal uh, gold card looks good. So uh, we'll start with... Uh, his height is 182, it's not that tall, he's about 6 feet, so not very tall for a center back, but he has very good work rates, which is medium high, uh, with a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Um, his pace is 77 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, which is very good for a center back, uh, very bad shooting, his passing needs some improvement. Uh, his dribbling is very good for a center back, he has very high agility, 85 and 81 balance, 82 reactions and 84 composure, which is very good especially for the center back uh, a bit low on the ball control and dribbling but uh, that's a bit secondary uh, when it comes to a center back and we have 85 defending um, which is gonna come to 87 interceptions which is very nice 82 defensive awareness 86 standing tackle and 87 slide tackle and his physicals are very good as well he might be a bit short but his jumping is very high it's 93 75 stamina is quite alright for a center back 85 strength and 93 aggression, which is fantastic for a center back to be as aggressive as possible. So looking at this card, it looks very, very nice. Uh, we're going to need some improvement here. Um, maybe we'll go probably just with a shadow, normal shadow and boost that pace to as much as possible and his uh, defending to max and see how well these stats uh, look with uh, the new camp style. All right, so here we go. We put him straight in the team. We have to switch out Ter Stegen for Hadanovic, which I think is quite all right. I think they're quite the same with goalkeepers. Uh, there's not much difference. Um, and then we put in Insigne instead of uh, Bale here. So he looks really nice. He fits straight in the team with a few minor changes. Uh, we applied a shadow to him. So he will go to 92 acceleration and 90 sprint speed, which is fantastic. We have 97 uh, interceptions. 85 heading accuracy, uh, 92 defensive awareness, uh, 91 standing tackle, and 99 sliding tackle. So he looks great, he looks fantastic. So we'll go straight into some rivals games, games today because we don't have any foot champions. So we'll go into a couple of uh, division rivals games and test this guy out and see if he's all that. All right, so here we go, our first opponent. Uh, very nice Prem team uh, slash La Liga slash Bundesliga, so very nice hybrids this guy did. I like this team, I like it a lot. I like it when I see a mix of a uh, few leagues in a team. Very good there, pressure. No, oh, I'll miss it there. There we go. One nil with Politano. There it goes. Again, nothing. The opponent is afraid of him, which it's all right for me. <laughs> oh no. Penalty there. Bad tackle. We'll give it to Murillo because why not? Uh, he has horrible shooting. But we'll test him out. Ah. <laughs> it almost didn't have enough power to reach the goal. <laughs> oh, what a tackle. There we go. 2-1, back again with Politano. 
the usual suspect there in front of the goal. What? Oh no, no, that was a bad tackle. What are you doing there? Very nice step in there by Murillo to win the ball. Fantastic tackle. All right, first game down. Uh, not a lot of action there for Murillo. I think a few occasions, uh, maybe one or two mistakes and uh, two or three great tackles. Um, let's get the stats. Let's have a look at them again. So we have uh, one one shot. Well, that was a penalty. Uh, four and four passes, four and four dribbles, and three on four tackles, which is very good. 75 accuracy there on his tackles, which is not bad. Straight into the second game. Um, he felt all right. He felt uh, very fast. Um, obviously, but very agile, which is fantastic for a center back, turning very quickly. So I'm very excited about this player. Um, I think this is going to be a keeper for me, but uh, let's play this game and have a few more tests on him, see if we can have a few more attackers run up on him and see how he performs. Nice. Here by Murillo, stepping up very fast, winning the ball. And Politano once again. Murillo. That's very fast to turn there. Very fast, very agile, very nice. I like it. I'll take it. There we go. All right, first half. Um, he had a good, quite a few good uh, tackles there, I think. Uh, three and three passes, two and two dribbles, and uh, one tackle. Uh, okay, out of none. How does that work out? Anyway, um, a very good first uh, half, especially that uh, that attempt there where he, he stepped in, but he missed the tackle and. He quickly turned around and still was able to win the ball. So right there you can see his high agility, his high balance, which is fantastic to have at a center back. That's why uh, I think this card is going to be a very nice center back to have. There's Murillo, very good to cover there fast. Hello. Yes. Yes, when there we go. Very nice. <laughs> very good by Murillo. Uh, we check out his stats right away. Um, where we go? Seven on seven passes. As you see, his passes are fantastic in the first game as well. He had 100% completion, even though his passing is not that great. Uh, judging by his stats, I didn't have any problems with passing. Uh, three on three dribbles, very successful. Also in the first game, uh, all his dribbles were successful. That's due to his high agility and balance. You could turn him very fast. Um, and also one on none tackle. So I don't know what this is. So let's go into the team and check out this card. So as you're going to see here, uh, as I'm going to put this uh, up for you, on the screen, um, Murillo uh, compared to Manolas, which is another fast uh, center back from Serie A, and also compared to Militao, which is another meta center back that pretty much everybody is using. As you can see, he has 430 total stats, which is two more than Militao, but it's 62 more stats than Manolas, and he has 2016 in game stats, which is 12 more than uh, Militao and like uh, 329, I want to say, uh, against uh, Manolas, which is huge. His work rates are great. He's not very tall, but he has very high jumping, so that's that's nice. He has a three-star weak foot. He has very high pace, <clears throat> excuse me. As you can see with uh, Shadow, he goes to 92 acceleration and 90 sprint speed, which is fantastic. His dribbling, uh, agility, balance, reactions, composure are great for a center back, are fantastic numbers to have there. His defending with the shadow, as you can see, goes to 97 interception, uh, 92 defensive awareness, 
uh, 91 standing tackle and 99 slide tackle and his physicals are great his jumping is 93 his stamina is all right uh, for a center back his strength 85 and aggression 93 so these stats are great especially for a card that costs only 40k i will venture a guess uh, and for syria which doesn't have that many great center backs at the moment um, probably Koulibaly, Manolas, uh, maybe that Scream Romagnoli uh, might be the best center backs that you can get in Syria. And maybe that uh, Scream Romagnoli might be the closest to what this card looks like. But if I remember correctly, that Romagnoli is very poor. I've used him for a few games, uh, but he was very poor due to his uh, very low agility and balance and ball control. I think his, his dribbling in total is very low which doesn't make it a very good card. Uh, Murillo, on the other hand, has the pace, has the defending, has the physical, and has a very high dribbling uh, for a center back, uh, which is very rare to find. So for me, and especially for the price, this is a definitely uh, yes SPC to do. This is a very good center back from Serie A to go straight into your Serie A team or into any type of hybrids that you might wanna take your team into. It looks like a solid card and I'm very excited that I did him. So this guy will replace my Militao. Uh, if I recommend him, I totally do. This is a card that you should definitely go and do and have him in your team, especially for the price that he's in. Um, you can't go wrong with this card. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.